Good evening and welcome to our Monday night call. And we love this call because we get to get the best of the best on here. They're not always part of our juicy community, but certainly this week's call, uh, we've got just that. Now, something came to mind before, like it's not often I get to say that the person that's on our call uh, is responsible for nearly 100% of us being on the call. So because Linda said yes and stayed in line and went through all the uh, trials and tribulations, we are here today. So, like, how cool is that? So let's just go crazy right at the start in the comments and just say thank you to Linda because we're all here, we're all probably healthier, we're all a little bit richer, and we're certainly having a good time, of course. So. I'm going to steal Christine, uh, Christine's uh, ad, which is Linda's on fire and she's ready to empower us all with her wisdom, knowledge, and she has, uh, and she has to inspire us and for you to not only take on in your business, but your life to the next level. Let 2019 be you, uh, the year you find your fire. And that's amazing because like Linda uh, has, has been someone that I'm sure we've all looked up to and it's amazing to have her on. So I think this is not the first Zoom she's ever been on. So once again, I'm just going to shut up and let Linda take over and work her magic. I've got questions later on, but keep your questions, put them in the chat. And Linda, take it away. Wow, awesome. Thank you. It's, it's so cool to be reminded just the magic of this business and how it works. It's one conversation at a time and it's one person at a time. So. You know, if, if I didn't go to the Children's Health and Wellbeing Expo, I wouldn't have met this lady called Fee Taylor. And if I didn't meet Fee Taylor and keep persisting that, I wouldn't have met another incredible soul called Christine Drummond. And I wouldn't have progressed to NMD. I wouldn't have progressed to 39 Club and beyond. And... So let me just start right there. Every single conversation that you have, you never know where that's going to lead. So I, I invite you to already consider there's never a no. Every single conversation that you have literally could lead to your absolute next blitzing leader rock star or someone's health completely transforming and from there their relationships and from there their courage and their purpose and their and if you think about it every single one of us and there's some other beautiful sideline buddies on here hey Paulie he's been around for a while as well um I just love that the nature of this business is about helping others be successful. When we can help others get more of what they want, we get what we want, just automatically. So we don't even need to focus on us. It's gonna happen for us automatically. When we put our stuff down, we put that aside, and you begin to really trust that if I just serve, if I just am the most curious, if I am the best asker of questions, if I care more, than others. If I care more to get out of my comfort zone because it might save someone's life, I'm going to borrow this from Lauren, um, Lauren Slocum, my um, dear friend and upline. She said, would you do it if you knew that it could save someone's life? That's a powerful question. So let me ask you that. Let me, let's think about that. Do you know someone whose life is dramatically changed? I know it's a big call to say save someone's life, but I can hand on heart say I know that both our community, our products, our belief in others at a chemical level, changing how people think, changing their mental health at a spiritual and emotional level, we save lives every day. I do not say that lightly. I say that with my hand on heart. I absolutely know what we do matters and what we do makes an impact. And the only way any of this works is one conversation at a time. Now, there's lots of fancy distractions on how we get to have conversations. Zoom, Facebook, Instagram, tweeting, LinkedIn, 
you know, whatever, all these different ways, funnels, ads, get a brand, get a page. There's all these incredible ways, but it comes back to one conversation at a time. That person ultimately is saying yes to you. It, it's, it's great that we've got so many incredible ways to meet more people, to speak with more people, to fish in bigger ponds, to attract more people, to find where they hang out, to understand better what they might want up front. But ultimately, you think about it, every single one of you is here because of a conversation. You may have been attracted to a post, but it was at, it's the conversation that you say yes to. You don't hand over a credit card from a post. That moment when someone hands over a credit card, whether it's first for the product or it's first for the business and the product, they're saying yes to a dream that they have. They're saying yes to a hope that they have. And when you have already done good work in understanding what that hope is, well, now we're in business. Now we get to have a journey. We're not responsible for it, but can we make it easier? Can we make it more fun? Can we add value? Can we point them in the right direction? Can we cheer them on? Can we create the space, believe in them when they have no clue what any of this is? Absolutely. And that's our job. So, you know, I'm cheering back each and every one of you that you're on here because when you handed over a credit card somewhere along the way to open up a franchise, to try the products, it doesn't matter what came first. You said yes to hope for something bigger, a better part of life. You wanted more of something and less of something. And so ultimately that's our job. We, we're just great detectives. And when you're in your heart space, you're never going to say the wrong thing. You're not going to ask the wrong question. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. You can't, and, and this is equally true. Who knows this to be true? You can't say the right thing to the wrong person. Right? If they're not looking, they're not looking. If they don't have a gap, they do not have a gap. And then you tr you're in playing the convincing game. And we don't ever need to do that. I think it's really important for new people and people who haven't yet said yes to understand that they don't need to convince anyone of anything. We're only looking for people that are looking for something. Okay, so I was in that category. Oh, I don't want to sell. I don't want to push. I don't want to convince my friends. I don't want to be that lady that is not invited anywhere because here comes the juice plus lady. Right? I did not want to be that. And so it was really important for me to understand early on that I didn't need to go and do that. I didn't need to find 100 customers. I didn't need to find 50 team. But did I know in my immediate circle? other people like me who were wanting some of, more of the same things. More money for after-school activities, more money for daycare, more money to go shopping with, more money for holiday, a better holiday, right? More money for less fights at home. And less of, less financial stress, less nine to five, where you stop dreaming. More purpose less stress. So when you think about it, there's a, a bag full of common things that we're all wanting more of and less of. When you can find the top two to three, that's like the ding, ding, ding. That's me. That's what matters to me. And you can hear that and you can feed that back to them and say, if I'm correct, this is what I'm hearing. If we can help you create more of this and this and less of that, then this could really be worth looking at. If I can show you a way that we absolutely can, I honestly believe we can absolutely, we've done it before, we've done it with thousands of people. If I can show you a way, would you be up for really taking a closer look at what this is? And I'm always just using their words. It's their word. It's their wound. It's what they want more of. It's what they want less of. I just facilitate the vehicle. Make sense? I'm not putting my buying decision on them. I'm not putting my filters on them. I'm not deciding for them whether they're going to go fast or slow. I'm not deciding for them what success looks like for them. I'm asking and listening and saying, well, if I'm hearing correctly, if we can show you how to do this and this, that would be of interest. Does that make sense?
So I'll give you a great example. Um, people are often curious about Adam and how he finally got started and what that was like in the beginning. And his number one thing, even after he saw it and he was excited about it, everyone has one or two key reservations before they say, okay, I get it. There's no downside. I'm in. And what I was hearing from him was, you know what? It all looks really good, but I just don't see how I've got time. You know, I've got two gyms, I've got 12 staff, I've got the family, I barely see them as, as it is. Like, how am I possibly going to do this? Now, when you're new, it's very easy. I know how to do feel, felt, found, standing upside down and underwater. But when you're new, that could totally shut you down, couldn't it? You could just kind of go, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know how you're going to do it either. Okay, just forget it. All right? And then game changer gone. So then you're just, you relate, you feel felt found. You know what? I hear you. You know how I started the business? Like it was full on, but here's, here's what I know to be true. It doesn't take a lot of time. This is what I found. It, doesn't, it actually doesn't take a lot of time. It takes focus and consistency. So I hear you. If I can show you a way that we can create you an extra one to 2,000 a month in around 10 hours a week. Could you give me one hour a day? Would that be of interest? If I can show you a way, if I would you, if I can show you a way, would you be keen to see what that looks like? And then we get to step two. So then we sat down and I said, this is all you're gonna get paid to do. You won't learn anything else. We're just gonna go talk to people. We're just going to invite other people to look at this like I invited you. It's all we're going to do for the first two weeks. We're going to find about 10 people and out of 10, two or three of them are going to say, okay, I'm in, teach me more. He understood it. We mapped it out and we nailed not only the first 2,000, I think it was 5,000 in his first six, seven weeks. Now, do you think he invested 10 hours a week by the time he saw the money coming in? No, he got completely obsessed. Kira was doing MasterChef, so he said, okay, so you're telling me that I could learn this in the ads while MasterChef's on? And I said, yes, that's how we're gonna do it. Give me, give me 30 minutes a day of your focused, undivided attention where you are teachable, where I know and you know your strong desire, and you're willing to do what I suggest, it's on, we're on. We're going all the way to the top, it's unlimited. Does this make sense? Now that's Adam. Adam was highly unusual. Very few people are ready to get in, be the driver of the bus and just go, it's on. Are you on? Get on. No? Okay, I might come back later, but I haven't got time. I've got to go. Off I go to make, you know, the first six-figure income, the seven-figure income. So it makes sense So very few people can have that conviction and certainty. So we leverage that really well. For most of us, it takes time, we incubate. We kind of sit nice and fuzzy and we watch and we learn and we build our beliefs. We hear the stories, we hear how people share their stories. We watch others create success. So some of us need more time watching and learning. Now our job is not to tell people how fast or slow they're gonna go. Our job is to ask them what do they want give them a reasonable idea on what that would look like. And then they decide. Like a good kombucha. Yes. <laughs> um, so it's, they decide. You get to decide your pace always. And even if you try and force someone to go fast and they don't want to, How's it work out? You get frustrated, they get frustrated, and you still didn't get the result. So I'm a big fan, I'm a big believer in the game plan chat. What could this be for you? What will life be like to create something like that? What are you prepared to invest in creating this? 
each week or month and then you create the DMO, you create the plan from there. Okay, so they self-select. You're never trying to force, convince, push, or do any of that nonsense. You're on to the next one. So you're meeting people where they're at. That is ultimately my biggest piece of advice for everyone at every stage. Gets way too bogged down in management mode trying to get people to do more, whereas that's not our job. Our job is to focus on building our own front line, doing the steps that make us the money so everyone else on your team can stand around and watch and go, that's amazing, that looks fun, that looks easy, that's a high-paying activity, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a launch event. I'm going to do a women's event. I'm going to do the Blitz 15. I'm going to get on three-way calls. I'm going to put people in front of her because she's getting the results. Show them, teach them, let them. No one can lift the weights for me. Only I can. If I want to change the shape of my butt, and believe me, I do, but I'm just not that committed. I ate chips and gravy tonight because I'm exhausted. I ordered horrible e vive on Uber Eats. I said to kids, right, we're slobs tonight. It's okay. It's balance. We're the slobs. <clears throat> but if I was training for a competition and if it was one of my highest values, could anyone else change the shape of my butt? Maybe a surgeon. But I have to do the lunges, the dreaded lunges. I have to do the treadmill. I can hire a trainer who's going to cheer me on, show me some cool tricks, right? Keep me accountable. But can he lift the weights for me? Can she lift the weights for me? Mm -mm. It's my effort. Can everyone stand around and watch and go, that looks easy, that looks fun, let's do it together. Lunges are better together. The treadmill's better together. This is how our business works. If I'm not in the gym lifting my own weights, I can't possibly be trying to get you to do yours. So that's our only job. There was salad, James. <laughs> I forgot James is watching. <laughs> I better be nice and not say anything about James. <laughs> yes, we had salads. So, um, questions. Let's, you know, I'm here to serve you guys. So you're all at very different stages of the business. Hit me. I, I love Q&A. So for those of you that don't know me while well, I'm waiting for a question, I've been doing this 10 years. So you would hope I would know some cool tricks by now. And, you know, ultimately, this is a business about just care about other people. <laughs> care more about others than everyone else does. That's how you get to be one of the best distributors in network marketing profession is just be the ultimate dream keeper, be the cheerleader. See people's pain, get curious, keep them in mind, think of them. Show them the benefits that they're looking for in their life. Show them how to move away from the pain that they're in. That's it. We've got incredible um, resources, right, for that. Would you focus more time on making clump or selling capsules? Um, so I think you mean uh, distributors, making club, that's what you mean? Um, distributors. And here's why. Let's just fly up in a helicopter and look at what is this business? Let's say it's just like a Subway franchise. It's easier to get our head around. It's a bricks and mortar kind of shop. We don't have bricks and mortar, but we have shops. Do you guys get that? You purchased a Juice Plus virtual franchise. Why do you buy a franchise? Because it's tried and proven. It's got inbuilt training, right? It's got a certain way to do business. Now, if I was a Subway franchise owner, would I go in there and in my first few weeks go, no, I don't, I'm not, I don't really like this. I'm, I'm going to do Pizza Tuesday because a lot of people in my area really like pizza and the guy over the road's killing it, so this subway's gonna have Pizza Tuesday. No, right? You stick to the, you make the one thing the main thing and you stick to it. 
Um, I digress. What am I doing my Subway franchise? Here's, here's, I'm back on track. I can sell on my own, chop, 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 like just being flat out. How many capacity customers can you look after? Doing a good job, checking in with them, retaining them, getting them to reorder, maybe a referral, maybe an upsell, maybe 20, 30, 40. Some of you incredible freakos have 60, 70, 80. Like, oh my God, amazing. I've never had that. Over time I have, but never at once. We get capped on how many customers we can literally serve. So imagine a subway that they're capped on how many sandwiches they can physically shop up and deliver in a day. Okay, is everyone with me so far? So that's what they sell to customers. Now, let me ask you this, and I'm sure many of you have never thought about it like this. Let's take a step back. And what if I tell you that when you open your franchise, if you do a good job of being a performance-based franchise, hitting good numbers, now in our company, that's called qualifying. A qualified business is a performing business. Qualified to be a club member, all it means is, Head office, franchise, corporate are saying, you're a good shop owner. You're onto it. We are going to reward you every month that you hit a performance number, which happens to be $1,800 worth of business going through every month. $1,800 of credit cards charged or more. And then head office is going to give you an extra 4% bonus on your sales. Is everyone with me so far? Nice. I'm a performance business. That's worth doing. Now, what if I tell you this? Now, when I understood this, I, I actually, you've all got to like lean in. I have to physically see you lean in because this is a game changer for me. When I got this, my mind was blown and I never slept again because I knew that I was going to be a millionaire. I knew that James and I, would be living in this beautiful big mansion. I knew that I would set so many people free financially, spiritually, emotionally, because I understood the secret of duplication and residual income. So are you ready for it? Everyone's all, you're not excited. You're all like, come on, that's it. Work for it. I'm going to do a meter. Come on. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you the secret. What if I tell you, if I came to you and I said, you know what, Subway store owner, you've got a performance business and I'm impressed by that. I want you, because you're such a good teacher, you're so good at following the rules and understanding how to create this performance business. I'm going to reward you on every other shop that you personally want to go and open with someone else. And you're going to train them up to do what you've just done. You're going to let them know all the steps you took. You're going to cheer them on. You're going to help make it easier for them. And every other store that opens up because of you or one of your new stores, you're going to get the same 4% performance bonus on those stores too. How often? Every single month. Lots of stores being performance stores, duplicating, taking care of customers, doing what they get paid to do. And then guess what? You go to those store owners and you say, guess what? You can now go and open up a bunch of other new stores and teach them what you just did. Right? So Lauren taught me, I taught Christine, Christine, the uh, fee, right? I taught fee in this line. Fee taught Christine. Now, fee didn't just teach Christine. Fee taught lots of people, at least 15, 20 other stores. Fee personally opened with one other person and taught them how to be a performance business. And they understood it. And they went and opened up their own and own and own and own. So every single month, 
Would you rather make 28, 30 sandwiches and get paid on those? And that's it, you and your store? Or would you rather have the people eating Juice Plus every month and opening up lots and lots and lots more stores that are going to pay you for the rest of your life every single month? Do, am I seeing pennies drop? It's okay if you're confused. It means you're about to have a breakthrough. This is residual income and it builds and it grows every single month. We get paid to teach. Do you guys get, yay, light bulbs. We get paid to teach. I'm a teacher. Be the ultimate teacher. You don't get paid to sell. Selling is your 20, 30 customers. Easy. Get them, get them addicted, get them loving what you do every month. You're a performance business. Now you've got the golden keys to be a three, four, five, six, seven, plus, 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 earn, figure earner. Do you get it? Like, how cool is that? Can you, I will never forget where I was when I understood this. I never slept again for four years after it because I just became obsessed with opening up new stores with someone and helping them understand how this works. Does it make sense? You can't tell them all of this in their first week. You can't tell it even in the third or fourth week because they, they need to just focus on opening their shop, get to VF, get to Fast Track, you know, get to SDBF. Then you, you can be a performance business, otherwise known as qualified business, otherwise known as PB, performance bonus. Now, understand me here. This is a bonus that isn't tied up into products. This is not based on a product profit. This is a performance bonus from corporate. Is everyone with me? It gets paid from Juice Plus head office. So over time, if you just open up one new store every single month, and that's all I did. One new store frontline to me every single month. Now, I've been doing this business 10 years. I stopped doing that a long time ago because I had a lot more stores opening up other stores, opening up other stores, opening up other stores. Do you get it? Great question. Sarah, how many customers and team do you need approximately to be qualifying? It's around uh, 15 premium or in, I think in the old days we would say 25 red and green. Can anyone correct me there? I like to see you, everyone needs 20 customers no matter what. 20 premium. Thank you, Jess. So, and just get there as quickly as you can. Some people do that in one month. Some people take four months to do that. Just get there. Get, get up to 20 just um, customers that love eating their Juice Plus. They're a raving fan. Um, you get referrals from them. Now, if I've got 20 customers and I go into your list of 20 customers, I know just based on the numbers, keep replacing. That's it. You've got to replace them as Fee said. One drops off, you go get it. You never want to drop below 20 customers. And here's why. You get the nice profit every single month that they eat and enjoy and pay for their juice plus. That's nice. That's a good foundational payment, 500 plus every month, that you can consistently rely on. But now you have the magic to unlock your wildest dreams. We're here for financial freedom. We're here for insane, wild, amazing choices. This is your ticket to freedom, my friends. Get the jackpot business, the qualified business, the performance business, 20 customers a month. Could you get, now, not 20 new customers every month, just get to 20 as quickly as you can. Who's got less than 10 customers right now? 
So let me ask you this. How did you get your first five customers? What did you do? Put, the, put it in the chat for me. How did you find them? What did you do? What steps did you take? Have you been successful in finding a customer before? So can you be successful in finding a customer again? The only thing that you're missing is a reason why. You have no purpose to keep finding more customers. If your purpose was big enough, I'm giving you purpose. Is everyone getting the purpose that I want for you to get obsessed, never sleep again? Do you guys know that the Juice Plus company used to be called NSA? And they told us it used to stand for National Safety Associates because they started off with air filters and smoke detectors. The real meaning is never sleep again because you will get Juice Plus brain damage because you will be up at all times of day and night knowing that you are going to set your family free, that you are going to create a legacy, that you are going to create a business that is potentially going to pay you for the rest of your life and it's going to grow with or without you. So when you're on holiday in Europe for five weeks, your business grows with or without you. Other people that you've trained up and loved on and poured into are opening up more shops. How many shops can I personally open every single month? Some. Can I group them together? Can I train them together? Absolutely. But if I focus on training up a shop really well, really linking arms with that person, pouring into them, giving them oxygen every day, belief, excitement, showing them every step, how to gather their first customer, how to gather their first few team, how to impart some of this vision, some of the excitement, learn about their potentials, what are they missing, what do they want more of, we're so excited to give it to you. And I build up that shop and get that bursting at the seams. And now I go, now we're ready to open up other shops and get them to do exactly what you just did. We're going to show them, teach them, let them. How many do you want to do? One, open up one shop to be a qualifier. You're a one club. That might, that might give you $500 a month. Open up two shops. Well, now we're in business. That might give you six or $700 a month. Open up three shops to do what you just did. Well, now we might get up to eight to 800 to 1,000. Now we're getting up to three club. Now those three have been taught well, cared for well. They're obsessed, they're never sleeping again. They're up at night obsessed with qualifying finding one or two, three other shops to open up just like you. They want to be a three club. Now you're a six club because those three just went and duplicated. Those three opened up one more shop each. How many do you get paid? You get paid on all of them. Now you're a six club. They open up one more shop each. Now you're a 12 club, 12 businesses in your downline, loving life, getting paid extra jackpot every single month, excited to grow more shops, following your footsteps. If you're a 12 club, what does your six club want to be? 12. Now you're a 24 club. Are you with me? You don't go and individually open up 24 shop fronts and hope and pray that they get qualified. No, you pour into those with two hands up who are like, I want this. I'm teachable. What do I need to do? And you get them the vision and duplication. Okay. It's evidence-based. Just keep doing what you've done. Lots of conversations. Become a doctor and scared everyone off then. Lost a lot of weight and had a great story. Hang on. I've missed something there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Brendan. You knew too much. I get it. You made made an early... It's a, it's a rookie error. We all do it. And 
I wouldn't even call, I did it for two years. At least I was the expert. I was a juice plus encyclopedia with legs walking around, scaring the crap out of everyone. I basically told people they had to take juice plus or die. And it didn't work out very well for me. Some of my passion carried me through, but it certainly did not build me um, a duplicating, independent, fired up team working with or without me. It built me an orphanage, right? So don't be the expert. The quicker that you can get out of the way and let the system do the work, let the franchise do the work. Show them, teach them, let them. Let the checklist do the work. Let the pre-recorded trainings do the work. Let the expert doctors who are qualified and approved to talk about the products and things. So remember, what's our number one tool that we always have that we can stay strong in that no one can ever take an argument with? Our real story. That's all you ever need to know. To open up your shop, get it rocking, and then go in, entice other people to have a look at this. Okay, if a shop doesn't move, how long do you work with it? <laughs> Don't you love our shop analogy? <laughs> How long before you move on to someone who wants it? Straight away. Straight away, Penny. And I mean this with absolute love. They can be a performance business any day they choose. They just need to go and get more customers. Or another small shop. It all counts. Does it make sense? They're a mini shop. Maybe they just want to be a mini shop forever. They're part of your performance shop. Understand? That's what DBF is. People with five orders or less that are not interested in the fast track, it's them taking their product and maybe they share it with one other. They're just happy as Larry right where they are. It's Larry's store. Leave him alone. If Larry gets a different vision one day, Larry's going to find you. But we don't stand around at the front of the door going, sell more, sell more, right? It's time to open up the next shop. Whose responsibility is each shop? It's theirs. Remember I gave the weights example? You cannot go into that shop and do it for them every single day. How limited are you if you're gonna do that? How many physical shops are you gonna be able to open? You'll get to three and you'll be done. Are you getting the analogy here? It would be like driving around all of the Gold Coast trying to open up and, and manage and like hype up all stores at once. You can't do it. So the stores that are performing that want it, that's who we work with. Now, every single person who starts taking eating juice plus and who opens up a shop front we just want to be really clear with them what's possible and that right where they are is perfect. One of the biggest dangers and mistakes that I see, and I certainly did this, so hear me now. I wanted everyone to be like me. Freaking exhausting. I'm exhausting. I'm a handful. Why on earth would I want a hundred of me? I wouldn't, right? But I am an exception. I am not the average. And most, most things through life, I had someone ask me the other day, Linda, have you always, you know, wanted more? Did you always know that you were um, destined for more? Yes, I did. So this business actually frustrated the hell out of me that I couldn't nail it really quickly. So some super achievers are definitely going to feel like that in the first year because there's different skill sets at play here, right? So if you're a super achiever and you're very frustrated, I hear you and it's okay. You're going to get it. Stop being hard on yourself, right? Make it about others. That's, that's what we want to do. But what we've got to get is most people who hand you that credit card to change their life have no intention of taking the steps to actually change their life. What they're actually handing the credit card over for is a vision. It's they want to hang out with you. They love the sound of community. They want community. They want to be acceptable right where they are. 
They want to be part of something bigger than themselves. This will only ever be a two out of 10 focus for them. They'll only ever invest a two out of 10 hours per month. Does it make sense? But they self-select. You don't decide for them. There's no amount of coaching, love, polishing, forcing, convincing, chasing that will change the outcome of what people are prepared to do to create success in the business. Make sense? So I also want you to hear me that the vast majority of people, I'm talking 60, 70, 80% are here to get their products cheaper and to share it with three or four other people. They love the $200 or less the kind of rebate on their product each month and they love that they're part of something or they've got something on the side and it just lights them up. They're not here for life-changing money. They'll be the first to tell you. Who knows this to be true? Who understands this? Generally, they're not going to be on training each week because they, they're really not interested in learning new skills to create more in life, but they do want connection. They do want to be part of something. They want to be seen and heard. They want reward and recognition. So our community, our mindset around our culture of acceptance, our culture of reward and recognition, our culture of being heart-driven, contribution-based, purpose-driven, is very, very important. That's what keeps the many here. And at times I've seen the pendulum swing too far in our business for those who are really wanting life-changing money. The vast majority are here to do a very sometime part-time or no time and then full-time. That's what Jeff will say. Sometime part-time no time. And then there's the full-time ones, the obsessed, the never sleep again. So in my experience of 10 years, I've never, ever been able to get someone to do more than they wanted to or that they were willing to do. Didn't matter how, how if, I, if I had fancy coaching skills, got the master asker hat on, I drag them to conference, I pay for conference, I give them an airfare, I get them on a three-way call with Cheryl. I, I've been, I pay for their product, I just like roll it out, I give them team, I give them stores. I've never been able to get influence people to do more than they were ever prepared to do. Does this make sense? Tough love. We're not that important. This is good news, my friends. We're not that important. We don't influence that outcome. The only thing you get to influence is, again, the analogy, we're back in the gym. I'm the only one that can influence the shape of my butt. I've got to get in that car. I've got to do the lunges. And boy, I do not like lunges. I'm not going to be in a comp anytime soon. Do, do you hear me? Because I'm not willing to do the do. I don't have a big why. I am not purpose driven on this. If my life depended on it, if my family's life depended on it, I'd win the competition. Do you get it? You can't give that to someone. You can't give them desire. You can work with it. You can recognize the level. You can meet them where they're at, but you cannot give it. You cannot turn it up. Okay? Try burpees. <laughs> did I go through phases of recruiting where you put on a lot of team at once? And if I did, what were the steps that I did? Um, this is a good question. Eric Warre says that um, most, you know, multiple six and seven figure earners go through recruiting frenzies at least two to three times in their career. And I would say probably mine would look like that. And it was always the hustle for the next level. 
So achievers, influencers are going to do what they do. Give them the carrot. So there was always a carrot there for me to get me into hustle mode. I just go out and do it. If there was, um, you know, you've all heard my story about the Eltons. There was always a next step. And if I just did this bit more, then I'd get the reward. I'd get to go to the ball. I'd get to cross stages this. I'd get to. So that, those steps were always there for me. I understood them. There were slower times. But when I really went for something, it was um, club levels or promotion levels. So it was like that surge for NMD, the surge for Q. The biggest surge that I had, and James will still remember this, when I still felt like I was a junior leader, not knowing what I was doing, but I was hustling hard, doing everything I could. Mad woman was Q and MD. We were in Noosa at the time and the entire night, because there'd only been three new Q and MDs in Australia for like the previous eight or nine years, no one really knew how to get to Q. We didn't even understand how to do reports, for God's sake. So I had like 50 pages of a PVC report and you couldn't even work out the volume overnight. But I just did everything that was in me. And I'd never had that experience in life before where I just gave everything for one thing. And a magic happens when you're doing that. When you're in servant mode for the team, how to get them their promotion, you get your promotion. So Q and MD is actually lots of SCs, lots of people creating SDVF, lots of new blood coming in. It's not actually you, if that makes sense. So there's a magic tipping point at that SC, SSC level where this really starts to sink in. And you get the call from your teamie saying, I get it. It's about them, know their goals, map out their goals for them, and we do it together. It's their purpose that matters, not mine. Aha. Uh -huh. And the penny drops. It's them. It's all about them. Your 12 club, your six club is four or five people doing two club. Who are they? Who wants it? Who's hungry? Whose feet match the lips? There's lots and lots of people in your teams who are saying, I want it. Only if it's the lotto and if people fall in my lap and if I don't have to do much, and especially if I don't have to get uncomfortable. It's a lot of people talking that they want it. And there's very few, usually 20%, who are ready to put the feet into action matching the lips. That's Jeff Roberti. The feet... Watch the lips, not the feet. Watch the lips. Oh, sorry, watch the feet, not the lips. Watch the feet. Are they showing up? Are they putting people in front of you? Are you in three-way messages? Are they on training? Are they asking you great questions, right? Are they plugging in? They get your attention. Their actions determine your attention not the other way around. Your attention to hope to get them into action, that never works. Okay? So hopefully I answered that. I just messaged three people and asked them to join the business. Right now, amazing shade. I love it. That's massive action. My gosh, I'm getting a whole new vision. Awesome. Music to my ears. This, like, understand why we do what we do. It's the money. We're here for the money. We're here for the community. We're here for the stories. We're here for the chance of life-changing money. And this is how you do it. It's through understanding that you have a shop front. Get your shop front to a good buzzing capacity of 20 to 30 clients eating Juice Plus every month. Love them, keep them happy. And now your qualified business, you get to go and teach this. Just... Teach them to do what you did. You're a teacher, not a salesperson. You're a teacher. You give them the courage. You say, I just did this. Now I understand that if I can help you do this, and I know I can because I just did it, you and I, the world's our oyster. We can, we can make magic happen over the next six months. Between you and me, we can open up another 15 stores. 
Who's with me? Who understands? I hope you're never going to sleep again. I mean this in the nicest way. <laughs> it's so, it's like, this is the, this is what I say. This is the ultimate business. It is. It still is. It still just drives me insane with how, how much opportunity that we get to put in front of people that we get to ignite in other people. We can't help them be hungry. They're, they're either hungry or they're not. Timing in life will dictate that their age, their stage, their season, but you catch them. You catch that leadership and you work with those workers. Some people have very little skills coming in. Doesn't matter. I'll take hunger every day over skills. The grit, the resilience, the teachability, every day I'll move in with you. There's nothing more exciting for you and the rest of your team than when you open up more shops because you're showing them all you need to do instead of telling them all they need to do. Okay? So a lot of you are already in management mode and no one needs to be managed in Juice Plus. No one needs you at the front of their shop going, do more, watch this training, tagging you in something else. No, just do the high paying activity, yeah? Um, was there any other, Emma O'Reilly, oh, Danny Martin, I love him. He's like one of my ultimate, um, you know, leadership mentors. Talk about a company with the heart and servant leadership. That is Danny Martin. Here's a guy when I was an SC, still trying to madly figure all of this out. James and I, you know, were financially um, in one of the hardest times of our life together. We've been together, you know, over 20 years. And Danny took us out for dinner. And I just couldn't for the life of me figure out why would this guy pour so much into us? He's a, he, he doesn't get paid on my shop. He's not my official upline, but that's the nature of the business. This business has delivered him so much abundance. He's ready to help anyone and, and, and anything so that they too can catch the vision for their own dreams. He saw the hunger in me. That's what he saw. So to this day, 10 years later, I will do anything for anyone, especially in Danny, Danny Martin's line because of that one act of service, that, that, you know, early mentoring leadership, selfless servant leadership into me when I had not much at all to give back other than just a deep desire, a hunger and a deep gratitude for him. Still to this day, you know, we have a great admiration and um, respect for each, each other. And we all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this guy, Danny Martin, who none of you have ever met, many of you haven't met because he hasn't been to Australia the last few years. This is what's mind blowing. It's never one person. It's never us. It's all of us collectively. It's every customer who is buying and eating and enjoying their juice plus every month. They're buying and eating and enjoying their juice plus every month because you've ignited a belief in them. That took work. It takes work to get a customer. Let's be honest. It takes work. To keep a customer is easier than to go and find a new one. So we always, always must have our eye very closely on our customer care. And you don't have to do a lot. I don't, as much as I'd love to, I do not send out those amazing, beautiful looking customer care packs. I used to. But now I know, I make sure that they know, I text message them but I'm fully present and I'm really interested when I'm messaging them, how are they going? When I'm, when I'm following up with them, I remember every single conversation about what they want and why they're here and why they said yes and why they're investing in the program, in the products, in me. Okay. So I've done the minimum on customer care, but it's, it's, it's it been more than enough to carry me through there. Okay. What else have we got? Did I miss any question? Someone hasn't slept for two months since they started. Penny, that's awesome. That's why it doesn't get any better. I'm sorry. When you sleep later when, when you can take many weeks off. Um, 
I'm glad that everyone is getting a new vision, including you, Courtney Phillips. I mean, you've been around the flagpole for a while, honey, and just sometimes, and hear me now, it just takes one training and one thing said in a different way when you have a new opening to understand. Who's had that experience? You've read a book or you watched a movie and you're like, I don't remember this chapter. Was this actor in this movie? Sometimes I'm driving with James and I'll be like, how long's that building been there? And he'll just go, oh, my God. My whole car does. The whole the kids are, yes, Mum. But I delete a lot of stuff that isn't important. Does that make sense? When it's important, when it's go time, you're going to hear the right things. The teacher shows up. The learning shows up. The next step shows up. For all of those who are new, so I'm talking sub one year, you are still saturated in learning a four-year career in 12 months. And it's overwhelming and there's a lot of info. Your only job in the first 12 months is get to your 20 to 30 customers as quickly as you can, share your story and put your people in front of your other uplines who are creating the success that you want. That's your only job in the first year and you'll learn some cool stuff on the way. So all you need to do is to be ignorance on fire. Don't be the expert. The less you know, the faster you go. That's new. I just came up with that. I don't think I've heard that any, anywhere. I, that's a, I'm owning that one. I'm going to create a meme. What was it? The less you know, the faster you go. It's definitely true in this business. I know it to be true. Because <laughs> we complicate. We're humans. We always want to complicate it. Um, when you get team issues, you wait until they get the effects of the product before asking them about opening a shop or is there a different approach? Jordan, where are you? I want to see your face. Now, there's a name, a blast from the past. Welcome back, beautiful. Okay, this is a great question. Again, it's not for me to decide and there's no perfect right or wrong. This is art and science, guys. So I ask them. I know that my job is to invite them to take a closer look and I'm always inviting them to look at all my solutions for all their problems. Chances are they want more energy, they want more vitality, they want less financial stress, they want more community, they want more fun, like we all have a lot of the same wants and needs in common. So I'm always giving them all the solutions that we have. I'm honing in on what they want the most. What's attracted you to the post? What's, what's the conversation? What got the conversation going, honey? So I would go back to them and one of my best tricks off a post, for example, is if someone says, um, hey, yeah, I'm interested or they like something. And I will then say to them, "Do you? are you interested? Thanks for replying in my post. Tell me I'm curious. Are you interested in knowing more about the products, the free kids products, you know, the, the healthy eating program, the free kids products, um, or the income available, or all three? What do you think they say? Um, or well, three, I guess. So now I'm going to say, you know what? It's easier for us to have a quick chat. It's been ages. I'd love to have a virtual couple with you anyway. Let's, when's good for you? Evening or morning? Wednesday or Thursdays? Right? And you just, you make that appointment and you get them on. When, when they see you and feel you and you have the courage to get off behind the screen and onto the screen with them, that's where the magic happens. Just show them that you care. Show up for them and, and they're going to feel you. It's 10 times, it's the speed of trust. You will get 10 times more depth in that initial conversation. I'm going to share a little story here super quick because I'm at an hour and I have not stopped talking my head off and no one's going to sleep tonight by the way. Um, when Kira first started, she was all about customers. She understood customers. She loves 
whole food. She loves helping people achieve their health and vitality goals. She's just got all this incredible verbiage on it. And she was very, very customer focused. And here's why. What, what she understood instantly when the penny dropped, and I remember the moment when it did for her, she said, so you're telling me that every customer that I put on the shred that orders premium and complete, like that's about $150 profit. And I'd be like, yeah, and this, and the shop, and the this, and the this, right? And she, but she just understood 150 and then she's like, so if I get 10 of them every month, that's 1500 bucks. The Juice Plus are going to pay me on the 10th of the month? Oh, my God. Yeah, I can do that. So off she went. 10 the first month. 10 the second month. 15 the third month. 20 the fourth month. Because she got this check. She did not understand the business. She didn't want to understand the business. She understood the initial money, which was a pain point for her at that time. Hair, nails, shopping, organic market. That's where she wanted to reinvest the $1,000 every month. And I, I just said to her in the background, there's going to be a percentage with or without you that are going to ask you about the business. Oh, I don't want to know. I'll send them to you and Adam. Okay, that'll work. Because she was so... Now, how was she getting customers? She spent an hour with them on Skype. This was pre-Zoom. One hour on Skype. And I was like, this is unusual. I'm not sure I've ever done this. I'm not sure it's duplicatable. That's a lot of time you're investing, Kira. And she's like, it's just how I like to do it. I want to help them get the results. Guess what happened? Linda eats her words a few weeks later because out of those 60, 70 customers that she gathered in the first four or five months, 20 of them are like, this is epic. Can, what, what do you, can I do what you do? So in her first year, she very quickly and easily gathered 20 frontline shops because they loved her. They trusted her. They believed in the products. They believed in the program. And they were already referring it to, to their friends. So they were already doing the business, officially or unofficially. Who, who understands what I'm saying? Now, if we had have made Kira wrong or didn't meet her where she was at or tried to force her to do the business at the same time, or if she wasn't ready to ask her customers to join the business at the same time, the whole thing may not have even developed. So it's a really long-winded story to your question, Jordan, but I think it brings up a lot of important points that we have a lot of solutions and you will have your area of comfort and certainty first. When you want to start growing the other part of your business, whether it's more customers or more shop fronts, more team, go get the strategy and the steps from those that are already doing that well. Does that make sense? So if you love the products, don't beat yourself up because you're not yet ripping it with team. It's going to come. All you need to do is tweak when you're doing your incredible customer care calls. Say, you know what? You've had the best results. I'm not sure if this is for you, but I just can't help but mention it. I'm sure that there's people around you who are so inspired by your results. And I'm sure that you know lots of people who would love these results too. So if you're at all interested, our business is booming. We need great people and we love coming to our rating fans who already get what this is. And effectively, you're already doing the business because your mum's already asked about it. Your neighbour has already asked about it. So you know what? I just want to give you this invitation. This two or $300 a month is kind of there that could be yours. If I send you some info on this, would you be willing to take a look at it with me? That's it. You go to 30, 40, 50 people in your customers, there's four to five team. It's one in 10 of your customers are, are, are just waiting for you to call to plant a seed with them. I still remember the moment she told you she wanted to do the business serious. 
I did just about fell off my chair at Breaky Creek Hotel. That's it, Jess. Okay, so there's lots of stories in there, but the moral is everyone's going to go at their own pace. Adam and I could not have, you know, forced Kira to do anything any other way, and your team are exactly the same. So you catch leadership. You look for leadership. You're not going to force it. You're not going to influence it. Yeah? Go get more customers and more team is the way that you grow your business. You don't keep trying to squeeze more out of what's already here. Yeah? So I'm going to finish it there unless there's any other question and I'll hand back to you, Joel. I'll finally stop talking. Wow, that's amazing. That Like, who feels they're in the right place at the right time? Like, show of hands, go crazy. This is amazing. And, like, who's gonna, whose team and downline are going to be watching this and know all about shop fronts tomorrow? <laughs> or at least the next couple of days. Like, oh, my God. Linda, I usually have so much to say at the end of these calls, but I'm just gobsmacked. So I'm just going to ask you one question. If you had that billboard that the entire world could see, what would your message to the world be? Do you, baby. Do you. <laughs> what a leader. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Linda.